Welcome to a new video in the Tyson Tidbit series. Today we will use JavaScript to dynamically modify the background of your web app. Now, this application begins to, to be a little bit a uh, little bit boring. You know, it's just like a list, and it's just uh, uh, it doesn't have any many animations or anything like that. So we're going to start modifying things with the JavaScript. So first time that we open really the JavaScript file to do something with it. So JavaScript folder, app.js. So I'm just going to add everything here at the top. I, mean, I could do it, organize it in a different way. And some of the some of the samples that you have there, I think they are much better at creating like for modules and all that, and like a little bit closer to what you would have on a on a, um, on an actual application, but here uh, I'm just going to go and jump and, and include some code here. So the thing that I want to do is to change the background using JavaScript. So first thing that I need to do is to go to my images. And yes, I pick these ones on purpose because I already have some colors that, that I want to play with. And I'm adding it here, so I'm going to copy paste the file. So right now we have our background one. You can open it here directly on uh, Tyson Studio in case that you want to see it. So that's what we have, and we're going to add it. So is I'm going to change pretty much the style, the style of an element. So the first thing that that we're going to do, or that I'm going to do, is I am going to um, I already had, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to change it. I'm going to add an, an ID to, to this div, but it's already there, so we already have it. Okay, well, awesome. So then I'm going to use that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get that element, so document the dot get element by ID. And here I'm going to say that this one, we need it to be named main. That is the same one that we had here. So then I know that I'm taking pretty much the outermost uh, div. Then when I already got that element, I can say I'm going to modify its style. And then I can say that I'm going to modify the background, background, yeah, image. Now that I will type it correctly, yes. Then this equals. I'm going to do like this, and then I'm going to give you the URL. And the thing here is that I can drag this. It's going to give me an error because we're like, not drag it there. Come on. Well, okay, I'm not going to be that lazy. So I'm going to type it. Um, and this one is called b1.jpg. Okay. So this piece of code should be executed when we start our application. So it should change the, uh, the background image that we have there. So let's see if I'm lying. So I'll make certain that this loads. There you go. So then now we have uh, a nice uh, background and then, um, then we can have our list there. So. Now, the problem that I see with this is that I don't really like those colors. You know, uh, like especially like the white, it doesn't really change much. Um, it doesn't really like have a, a good um, contrast with the background that we have right now. So of course, one option that we have is to go back to our CSS and add something that in this case, we don't have a thing. So we could go and then the thing that I need to do is to change, well, uh, the header, do I, do I need to do it? Uh, I think we could just kind of change the list, the list view elements. Yeah, let's deal with that. So since everything on this list, this is what I really need to highlight, is already on this class, then I can, I'm copy pasting just to make certain that I don't make any mistake typing it. What I need to change is the list elements and we can do it like with the anchors too. 
And what I'm going to do is here to change the color and I'm going to make it black. Uh, no, it was already white. I think it was already white. Well, okay, that's going to give us the option FF, FF, FF here. And then the title, which I think it already had. Uh, we don't have an ID. Well, I'm going to give it an ID. So ID. And I'm going to call it title. So control C, control C here. And then this one, what I want is really not a class, but an ID selector. And this one again, I'm going to change color. So hashtag FF, FF, FF. Save and both of them they show here on white. Okay, so I think the, the, the list items were already white, so I think it's going to change the title. So now the next thing that I want to do is uh, I wanted to um, do something that you see in some watch faces that I, that I kind of like, that is to change the background. So what if you don't want to have like an aesthetic background? What if you want to change the background just with one tap? So that's something that we're going to, to add here. So what I need to do is somehow detect that someone is doing a tapping in the watch or a click, which I'm already giving you some, some clues there. And then I need to change the background that, that we were working on, the, the background that we had there. So right now we have this one that is background one. I already had several here other backgrounds that I'm going to add. So I'm going to drag them all to uh, Tyson City or Tyson City. Copy all the files. And what I really would like to do is to tap on the screen of my watch. And every single time I want to change uh, that one. And they, uh, right now we didn't know how to change the, the, the background that is going to be with a similar image, a similar line to this. Mm -hmm. But there is something else that is missing that is detecting the tap, detecting the click. Right now there in that code, there's a little bit of a, of a hint of something that can be done and that, that, um, that we should modify. No, no one? Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is to add another event listener. In this case, what we had here in the code that was added by default was to listen for the hardware key. What I'm going to be doing is not listen for the hardware key. What I'm going to be listening is for like a tap or a click. So since I just, and I'm lazy, say like, hey, I am going to add an ID. I'm going to specifically like, change this one, change background. So one of the items in the list. And I'm going to give this guy an ID and say, yeah, I'm super original guys, clicky, of course. So then now uh, with this, I should be able to detect when someone is touching or tapping on clicky. So I'm going to say bar, no bar or let or whatever. I'm just going to go for bar. I'm going to call it my, uh, my, my clicky, I'm really bad with this. My clicky is going to be the, and I'm not going to type all that thing. Um, here and then here, I'm just going to say clicky. Okay, so now in this one, in my clicky, we have the information about that specific uh, list item that we had before. Now, what I can say is that on my clicky, I should come up with better names next time. I'm going to add an event listener here. So something like that. And this one is going to ask me first type. So this one is going to be a click. Okay. Then, uh, oh, and then here, pretty much, I'm just going to uh, 
I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to obviously put a function here that is going to be executed whenever that happens. Func function. There. So it already added that. It's going to be an anonymous function. Now here, uh, since we already have this one, uh, well, we can do that. Hello there. I don't, do I need to change it now? Mm, okay. So what I'm going to do here is add a counter bar. So current background. I'm going to start at one. So you're going to figure out that the names of these backgrounds were really lazy, B1, B2, B3, but that's a, there's a reason. And is that I'm going to be able to change this counter to be able to circle around these different uh, backgrounds that we have here. So then what I can do is uh, say curve background plus plus, and then this one, I'm going to modify it. That is to change the the uh, blah, 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 the background that we had, but instead of changing it every single time for B one, we're going to change it for this. Ah uh, no, I made a mistake. B close here. I'm going to build the uh, uh, the the name of the application of the background that we have, and this one is going to be curve BG. And uh, that one, okay, that one, this, this, da, 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 da. and that's, I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. So um, then there is going to be a problem, but we're going to get back to that. So let's, te let's test this first. Someone trying to talk? Yeah, the one has to be removed. Uh, what is it, Mr. Yeah, the number one. Oh, yes, thank you, thank you. That is correct, because otherwise it's just going to be BG, B11. Okay, you're correct, that was my mistake, so let's get it. Let's deploy it here, let's make certain that, there you go. Then, uh, what's your name? You get swag, that's perfect, that's live uh, Miko, participation. Miko Haro. Okay, perfect. You have been uh, uh, participating a lot, so thank you for that. Oh, what happened? Oh, where, where did it go? Okay, here. So then, if everything is correct, if I type, if I tap on the change background, now we're going to be circling through all of them. But then there's a problem. What happens when BG, cur BG, already passes the number five? That is what we had here. So. What do you, well, Miko, since you already have uh, the mic there, what do you think I should add here? Then we should uh, bring it back to initial. Correct. So I'm going to ask if Kirby G, let's see, is greater than five, that is the last one of our uh, backgrounds. Then uh, again, I'm going to be that lazy. I can go back to the first one that was one. So with that, we should be able to circle through our five backgrounds that we have at, up to this point. And now let's test it and see if, if it's correct. So I'm going to change background. And it doesn't really matter how many times. Oh, I think uh, more than five, uh, six. Okay, I think, ah, oh, because I'm changing it before. Okay, so this, I should do it here. So um, I should move this after the if, because otherwise I'm still getting to six. So we're trying to look for the six background that does not exist. So that's why there's a, there was a blank one there. We should make the uh, the check before uh, we change the background. So, so two, three, four, five, and then it should go back to the first one. And that's it. As a side note to this, 
The images that I'm using, uh, usually um, it works better if they are square. So if you want something in particular, all these ones I got, uh, they are uh, open commons. So I, they can be used for uh, even commercial purposes. And I got them from Pixels. And the only thing that I did, kind of like cut them, trim them uh, to be square, and I put them in 400 by 400, which you can change, but they look pretty, look pretty nice. And, and well, you can find anything else there. So pretty much with this, you will, would already have something that looks kind of cool, just changing the background. And then in, in this particular case, I don't really need to do it with one item, like the click, the, the tapping. I could do it just like if you tap anywhere on the, on the uh, application changes, or I could put like a small icon or something like that in a corner. So just to make it certain that per, like, well, whoever is playing with this uh, can do it. So that's, that's a little bit of whatever, whatever you want to do. Thank you for watching the video. Check the YouTube playlist for more content like this and give us your feedback to see what kind of content you would like us to create in the future.